Hello, this is Steve Burgess from Hypnotherapy for All. Thank you for choosing this recording. I hope you enjoy listening to it and you find the visualizations, suggestions, or affirmations helpful in your quest to feel good. Now, before you play the recording, make sure you won't be disturbed for the next little while. Turn off your phone and find somewhere comfortable to sit or lay with your eyes closed. Obviously, do not play the recording whilst you're doing anything that requires concentration. For example, driving or operating machinery. If you have a history of psychiatric illness, before you listen, check with your doctor that it's okay for you to do so. Hypnosis is just a pleasant state of relaxation. So if you need to come back to full awareness or respond to anything happening around you before the recording is finished, simply count yourself up in your mind from 1 to 10 and open your eyes. The first thing people do when they go into a trance is find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Somewhere where you're not likely to be disturbed for the next little while. When you feel ready to do so now, you may like to allow your eyes to close and become aware of a warm and welcoming darkness behind your closed eyelids. I realize that there are many things to notice as you settle in to rest here and yet none of them have anything at all to do with your purpose for being here. What could be more interesting and important to you right now is what's going on inside you. There may be feelings or sensations in and around your body. There may be images or shapes or colours behind your closed eyelids thoughts going through your conscious thinking mind. There could even be some tension or apprehension. And perhaps you can let your conscious thinking mind attend fully to any tension or discomfort you may have, whilst your subconscious mind allows you to become more comfortable now. Now your conscious mind has nothing of great importance to do for the next several minutes. I guess you've struggled and worked very hard with this weighty problem. And now might just be a good time to turn that weighty problem over to your unconscious mind. Which has available to you all of your experience, all of your learnings all of your strengths and resources. So your conscious mind can do whatever it wants to do now. It can daydream, it can drift off to places more pleasant than this one. Or it may be curious and want to listen, and that's okay too. And whilst you're wondering how you could ever solve this heavy problem, your subconscious mind has already begun the process of learning all that you need to know to allow yourself to achieve and maintain your ideal body weight and size and to do that now in a way that's appropriate and satisfying to you as a total personality. And we all know that it's easier to learn when we feel relaxed. And what better way to relax than to go into a trance? Some people say trance is like just floating across a swimming pool, feeling the support of the water beneath your body. And if you take a deep breath, you can float. It might just be that the heavier you are, the lighter you can float now. 
And if you want to, you can go down deeper. Just take a deep breath and float again. Some people have said that the process of relaxing in this way is like being here and not being here. Or like being in two places at the same time. I wonder if you've noticed that in these few moments since I've been talking and you've been listening, how your breathing has changed. It's nice to know your body knows how to breathe for you. You don't even have to think about it. Your body knows just how much air to breathe in, how long to hold it, when to let it go, and just when to start that cycle all over again. In much the same way, your body knows just how much nourishment it needs to take in, how to process that nourishment, how to eliminate what it no longer needs, and of course, when to start that cycle all over again. Your body takes care of so many processes for you with complete accuracy and precision. The process of digestion, of circulation, even the process of relaxation. Perhaps you'd like to spend a few moments now focusing on your breathing and just become aware of the way in which your breath rises and falls. The way in which each gentle breath that you take helps you to become more and more deeply relaxed now. What's it like to be completely relaxed? Everybody knows how to relax. Every infant comes into the world with the ability to relax completely now. A tiny baby can relax in unfamiliar surroundings. A baby can relax in bright lights, in noisy, busy places, and when the time is right and it's appropriate to do so, now a little baby can close the eyes, tune out the outside world, and go inside to the safety and security and comfort that is within. And just become absorbed in whatever's going on inside you right now. Feelings, thoughts, sensations, images or colours behind your closed eyelids. Each of us has our own unique way of being able to become completely absorbed in something interesting and fascinating. Sometimes it's nice just to nestle between the covers of a good book. And isn't it interesting how the words and sentences and paragraphs unfold into characters and experiences, fantasies. It's almost as you're reading a good book that as if you could just step into a different reality. And as you're doing that, Hours might seem to slip by like minutes. The outside world fades off into the distance. You know it's there. You can respond to it if that were necessary. Yet for the moment, there's something more compelling inside you. Your story. And what if we were to invent your weight loss story now? I wonder what would be written in the first chapter of your weight loss story. This weight loss story that begins today. Perhaps you can spend a few moments now to create some aspects of this opening chapter in your mind. Work out how things will be in the next few days and weeks. And I 
wonder what later chapters of your weight loss story will contain. Who knows what may happen now as you begin to use the creative parts of yourself. And talking of being creative, sometimes I have a client who comes to lose weight who doesn't feel creative. Yet I say to them, think about the fact you've learned and achieved so much in your life. For example, think about the fact you learned to read. Now initially, the letters of the alphabet, when you first started to learn them, were like symbols. It was a code that you had to break in order to make sense out of it. Now you know how to rearrange those symbols into hundreds, thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of different meaningful and useful combinations that we call words. At one time, a B and a D and a P and a Q were perhaps confusing because when you look at them, they're exactly the same shape, just in a different position in space. You learn to figure out the difference, and you did that creatively. Now you can look at a word you've never seen before. If it has a reasonable, sensible combination of those symbols, those letters, you can pronounce it and probably figure out the meaning. Have you ever thought about the power of the creative ability that you have? Creative ability that you can use to begin losing weight now. And talking about creative abilities, I'd like you to think for a few moments of old master paintings. These beautiful paintings that are admired by people the world over. And yet every now and again, experts decide that what we see nowadays is not really the painting that the artist wanted us to see. A coating of dust and dirt builds up on the canvas, hiding the original work and making it dark and dull so that it appears to be heavy and less attractive. Now, when these paintings undergo restoration work, a delicate and creative task that can take some time as the accrued deposits of many years are gradually eased away. Then the beauty and charm, lightness and vivacity of the original work is marvelled at by those who thought they knew the picture well. It is, of course, a lot of work, a major undertaking to restore a fine painting in this way. It can take some time and requires a fair degree of patience, but it's always worth it in the end. A big job like that, it makes you wonder if you can see it through. It's a big commitment, a decision that you have to make. And talking of decisions, we come to so many decision points in our lives which are like forks in the road where you have to stop and be sure of your direction before you proceed. It's as though you could look in one direction and see one destination and then look in the other direction and see a very different end point. Just imagine, for example, that right now you've arrived at such a fork in the road in your life right now. A fork in the road which is a decision about whether you really want to lose weight or not. And as you imagine you're standing at the fork in the road, imagine you could look down that road that branches left and see ahead in time like you might do in a daydream. And as you look down the road the branches left, imagine you could project yourself a whole year 
into the future, a whole year from now. See yourself in a year's time and pretend you have continued your life in much the same way as usual during that past year. Take a good look at yourself in a year's time. You haven't made any changes. Look at the shape of your body. Look at the way you carry yourself. The expression on your face, the way you move about and pretend further that you could step inside yourself and look out at the world through your own eyes. And you know what it feels like to be in this body. Things haven't changed much. Just a little older. Perhaps a little heavier too. I wonder what you're saying to yourself as you do this. From that position in the future, you can look back at the you relaxing here in the present. Maybe there's something you'd like to say to yourself inside. But that's only one direction you can take. Stand back again at that fork in the road, but this time look ahead and towards the right. And there's a different future for you. Once again, project yourself one year ahead, but this time you've really done some things differently. You've made many changes. Your body is firm and toned. You're standing straight and tall, your face radiant, glowing with health. Imagine you've lost all the weight you no longer want or need. Maybe dressed very elegantly. See yourself and then step inside this future you and enjoy the difference. Move around in this slender, healthy body and notice how good you feel. And I wonder what you're saying to yourself now. Because as you look back at the you relaxing here in the present, maybe there's something you want to say to yourself. Is it worth it? There will always be those decisions. There'll always be the forks in the road. The decision is easy. It just depends on where you want to go, left or right. That's right. You can make the right decision knowing what's left. So just remember to look ahead, right to where you want to go. And then you can remember to forget. What do I mean by this? Well, it's impossible to remember everything. We all forget something at some time or another. Maybe we forget somebody's name or we can forget an appointment. Or you can become so involved in what you're doing and enjoying yourself so much you forget how much time has passed. So forgetting can be a nuisance, or it can be a valuable, positive resource. I'm not sure how you might use it. Whether you might forget to remember to eat something you don't need, or if you would remember to forget to eat what you really don't need, or if you might not forget to overeat just enough to be healthy and slender to reach and maintain your ideal body weight and size. I wonder what is your ideal body weight? Something we call the set point, the weight at which you function the best. Because for each of us and at different times, for example, there's an ideal room temperature at which we are most comfortable. Now, I don't know what that temperature is for you, yet you can set your own thermostat at home 
at that ideal temperature and allow the wisdom of your internal heating and cooling system to regulate your environment for you. Sometimes I find over the years, as we gain weight, there's a possibility that the thyroid gland, which controls your body's metabolic rate, can slow down. Now, just in case that's happened to you, I'd like you to imagine that inside your neck, where the thyroid gland is placed, that you have a dial. You can maybe visualize this like a thermostat dial on a central heating system. Or imagine there is a pointer on this dial. And the pointer should be set to the word ideal, pointing straight up. Now if that dial, that pointer is slipped down a little way, then that suggests your thyroid gland is running slowly or too slow. If the pointer is going the other way too fast, then it can be too fast. But if that pointer is not at that directly upright position, pointing at the word ideal, move it there now. Imagine that you can move that pointer in your mind along the dial and then it clicks in at the word ideal. And as you do this, imagine you can feel your body's metabolic rate just safely moving up a gear so that your body's energies gently and safely rise to a slightly faster rate. Which means your thyroid is coming back into balance so you can burn off any excess weight and unwanted fat. And then just leave this dial in that ideal position and forget about it. Just allowing your body to regulate your metabolism and your tastes and cravings for food or drink or anything you put into your system. If each time you play this recording, you notice that the dial keeps slipping back, just keep clicking it back into that upright ideal position. Sooner or later, it will stay there. Then you can just allow your body to regulate your tastes and cravings for food and drink and also to regulate your activity level to achieve and maintain a weight that is most healthy for you. Many people have very little activity and of course, it's important to lose weight, to very safely and easily start moving the body more. And of course, when we think about exercise, there are so many things we might forget, but most of us remember the fun times of being a child. Maybe you can remember when the highlight of your day was going out to play when you were a child. Do you remember running and laughing always on the go, always moving or stretching or pulling or bending or jumping, skipping rope, riding a bike, hopscotch, playing ball, maybe even swimming. Can you remember when you were having too much fun to come in to eat? And what's it like to be like a child again? Having so much pleasure using your body feeling your body active and moving every single day. Moving your body in a healthy, safe way. Feeling healthy and vibrant, like you're loving to play out. You remember when you couldn't wait for the holidays to come so you could play out all day long. Maybe you can rediscover some of that energy now and move around more in ways that are safe and appropriate to get your body moving so you can lose weight now. Now I'd like you just to think back to our earlier reference of restoring a beautiful painting and I'd like you to know that however difficult it may appear 
to undertake the task, the finished product is really quite exquisite. And those who come to admire it in its new form, perhaps those who question the wisdom and the ability of the restorers in the first place, always end up realizing that it's worth it. It's worth it. And as you look at that painting, slimmed down, toned and freshened up, lighter, you could almost hear it saying to the world, I'm worth it. I'm worth it. And I think to myself, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. You're worth it. You're really worth it. Now you can just trust your subconscious to process all of these new learnings and continue learning all that you need to know to let yourself feel and look your best. And just before I ask you to start coming back to full awareness in a few moments time, I'd like you to ask yourself a question. If a miracle were to take place right now and after this session I started to do things differently in order to lose weight, what would I be doing differently? Take a few moments now to contemplate this question. Now, with that new awareness at the forefront of your mind, in a little while I'm going to be asking you to start coming back gently and easily to today and tomorrow and all the other good days just around the corner. In order to reinforce the learnings and the changes that this recording can bring about for you, you may like to listen to it regularly for several weeks. This way your subconscious mind becomes reprogrammed with all the metaphors and suggestions so you can change now. So gently and easily as I count from one up to ten with each number come back little by little to full awareness on the count of ten. So let my voice go with you now. And when you're ready, come back from one, gently up to two. Feel yourself becoming more and more aware, gently coming up to three, slowly up to four, more and more alert to five, gently coming back to six, all the way back to seven, right the way back up to eight, all the way back to nine, and then gently and easily come all the way back to ten. So when you feel ready, allow your eyes to go open, take some nice slow deep breaths, have a good stretch, and feel good now. 